Hi there, my name is Cronenberg and welcome to my channel. This is a game review of Shadows 2 Perfidia, an adventure indie horror game. The developer is Mr. Siastku and the publisher is Ice Torch Interactive. It came out 2017, it's got mostly positive reviews. It's currently for £7.19 on uh, Steam. Single player achievements and cards and for Windows 7 to 10. And you're exploring a darkened office complex and uncovering the truth behind the horrifying events that have befallen its inhabitants. So, I have played this game for a grand total of half an hour. And that's as far as I got. I Basically, when you first start up the game, this is my, my issues. I mean, it sounds an interesting game when you start it up as such. When you first start up, you get a little box that comes up and says, you know, um, what would you want to do? Do you want to select your graphics and your... your um, resolution so I set it to normal resolution that I have and I left it as fastest as the um, as the graphics click start and I got this kind of like um, uh, you'll see it on the on the game review because I'm, I'm not going to do it as such but you see this like little video that's playing in the background that's not really working that well so I thought okay then so I came back out again went back in as changing the graphics to good uh, and it worked. I thought, oh, great, cool. So I got the thing up because it suggests you press escape and all that. But in this time, it did work. So I've got there right there. Press play, start it up. Uh, graphics are a little bit kind of shaky here, there when you're moving around. So you've managed to press escape, get the options, and then I disabled everything. And it worked. I thought, great. It's a good game. I mean, I'll, apart from the fact that I've only played half an hour. Um, you know, it's interesting. You're walking around and you can't see anything. You've got a flashlight and obsolete. Uh, you've got to get the batteries for otherwise they'll run out and there are people there but there was one point I did scare myself um, fortunately um, I might I might just leave I might have a pause oh Jesus <laughs> sorry <laughs> okay I'm oh, fine because um, I scared myself to death uh, so it, it, there is scary bits don't get me wrong there are and then you get to a point where you pick up a camera and you go into a camera mode where you're recording stuff and that's as far as I got I couldn't press tab which was to get your inventory I couldn't press escape to come out of the game or to press options I couldn't press anything apart from my movement keys um, and there was no way out I kept, there, was, there was like three, end, uh, three corridors as it were and each one of them had little like mannequins stopping you from going any further but I'm assuming there was something I was supposed to do or something. I just don't know because I couldn't get to my inventory. I couldn't even find anything. There was nothing there. Now I have read in the Steam achievements, or Steam achievements, Steam discussions, people do have issues with certain things, and you know it, it does look like it's just a one guy that's created this and he's published it on um, on a an indie um, publisher. I don't know if it's an indie publisher. I ain't got a clue. Um, but it has got some issues. So if you do get this, maybe get it in in the sale or you know um, and just be warned that it might do the same issue it might not I mean some people have finished the game but I couldn't and then uh, I went I thought well I'll alt F4 and come out of it and then go back in the game and see where it's because there's no save it doesn't auto save I'm assuming it auto saves but I have no idea because when I went back in on the exactly the same settings I was just on boom I had that screen where all I could see was a video recording and I couldn't do a damn thing so my suggestion is maybe like I say wait for it in sale and think about if you want it or not um, it's not for me it's, it's a good concept but unfortunately it's not worked for me so I've I've kind of dis discarded that one but uh, yeah um, interesting idea shame about the fact that it didn't work for me some some people do some people don't um, and the fact that it didn't work on the same settings twice is a little bit Disheartening. Anyway, uh, subscribe to my channel, give me the old comments in the comments box below if you've played this or finished this game. I'd be very curious if you've managed to do it. Um, like, subscribe, and all that business. Um, I've got other games in my uh, reviews, loads of reviews, and other games that are similar to this is probably Outlast that I've played. I have done a full let's play of Outlast, um, and I think the nearest where you don't Actually, yeah, uh, that Outlast and Amnesia, the, the famous Amnesia, the Dark Descent. Uh, apart from that, that's all I've really played that involves a flashlight or a light source. 
Okay, well, thank you for watching and goodbye.